the Lord will take care of his elect men in these turbulent times. Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rabbi Kodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in all sincerity and patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Now, I am doing this video because I am, you know, I saw the uh, GMS Walk and Talk uh, South Carolina Brothers video. I believe his name is Manatazak. Uh, that brother, you know, that, that, um, that brother, um, elder, or if you will. I saw his video and... Uh, You know, in his video, you know, he, he answered this uh, this uh, one woman's question on the comment board about, um, you know, if, if we should doomsday prep and if we should get off the grid. And, you know, that brother made a lot of good points. So, you know, I was, you know, that video heavily inspired me to do this video because there were some, some very beautiful precepts that was brought out in that video that really caught my attention. And, you know, after watching that video, I really felt comforted by, you know, the uh, the, the scriptures that was brought out, man. You know, when, when shit hits the fan in America, brothers, you have nothing to worry about. There, there, there's nothing to worry about, man. Okay? There's nothing to worry about. If you're of the elect, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to take care of you. First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 18. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High What's the secret place of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? This truth. Because this truth is it, it is a secret. It's hidden to the world. The majority of the people on the planet do not, they, they are completely unaware of the prophecies and the things that are written in the Holy Scriptures. Especially these uh, so-called Christian Christians who go to church, they don't know or understand the scriptures. You know, they think God loves everybody, and you know Jesus will forgive you. Uh, you know, no matter what sin or wickedness you commit. So the majority of the world, they want to be justified in their wickedness. You see, they want to be justified in their wickedness. They want to keep, you know, staying on the bong, eating pork, eating unclean foods. They want to keep committing adultery, being homosexuals. They want to keep being lesbians, child molesters. They want to keep gang banging, smoking, doing drugs. You know, they want to stay inside of their little fantasy bubble that everything is okay and keep having fun keep having fun in their wickedness so the mass majority of the world do not know Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai so this truth would be considered a secret it would be considered to be hidden from the masses of the people of this world and the only ones who's going to know the knowledge wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is the elect. The, the because the, the secrets are revealed only to the elect. You see? Because the elect, they're gonna hear, they're gonna repent from their wickedness, their sins, 
and they're going to abide in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, even until the very end. They're not going to fold. They're not going to cave in. They're not going to give up. So he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, okay, I, just, I just broke it down to you what the secret place is, this truth. Okay, the word of Yahweh is the secret place, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Okay, the shadow. Mean abiding under the shadow of the Almighty, Almighty, meaning you're gonna abide under the protection of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, the Most High is gonna protect you. He's gonna protect you from, you know, uh, the race wars, civil wars, martial law. He's going to protect you from starvation. He's going to protect you from the disease warfare. He's going to protect you from civil wars, race wars, monstrous apparitions, newly created beasts. He's going to protect you from these many different viruses, which Esau Edom have in these underground labs. You see? He's going to protect you. He's going to shield you from all that. As it is written, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So, uh, you know, but if, if, but if it's your lot, you know, to be, you know, taken into a concentration camp and have to go through beheading, then, you know, that's your lot, man. You know? However, if you do die for this truth, the scriptures say, bless are they, you know, in the book of Revelation. Matter of fact, I can get that real quick before I go back. Because some of the some of the Lord's elect men are gonna have to die for this truth, you see. Okay. So it says. Uh, Revelation chapter 14. Revelation chapter 14, verse 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, just got to check the time on this, okay? And I heard an angel from heaven saying unto me, Right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea. Okay, so you, you're blessed, man. Okay, Yahushai is going to give you a crown of life for dying for this truth. You know? You know? So if you're of the elect and you die for this truth, Yahushai is going to give you a crown of life. And then it goes on to say, Yea, save the spirit. Okay? That they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. So, going back, the book of Psalm, chapter 91, verse 2. I will say of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, he is my refuge. What is a refuge? A refuge is a place of shelter from the storm. What storm? The, the, the storm of martial law, the storm of famine, the storm of pestilence, the storm of... Uh, newly created beasts, the storm of monstrous apparitions, okay, the global nuclear destruction, okay, the, the storm of, uh, uh, of beasts roaming the streets, such as lions, cougars, jaguars, lepers, tigers, bears, wolves, all kind of deadly animals, man, just roaming the streets, eating people, killing them. Okay, the, the, the uh, storm of uh, Boston Dynamic Robots programmed to, to shoot anything darker than a paper bag. Terminator Robots programmed to kill. So, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, is your refuge from all that. Okay, he is your refuge from all that.
okay? Especially from the coming nuclear destruction because that nuclear destruction is gonna happen globally. You see, I mean, now the whole planet is not gonna be hit with nukes, but America's gonna be the main target of this nuclear destruction, but other parts of the world is gonna be hit with nukes too, man. Like parts of China, Russia, Europe, Japan, parts of the Middle East, Africa. So, the nuclear destruction is going to be global, but guess what? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is going to defend you from all that. Okay? He's going to defend you from the nuclear destruction. How? By commanding his angels to beam you up into chariots. You know, if you're still alive in that day, you know, to beam you up into the chariot. You know, uh, 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 delivering you from the nuclear destruction, because there, there's going to be some of the Lord's elect men. They're not going to see death until they see Yahweh Shad coming with with great glory in the clouds. Okay, so I would say of Yahweh, Bashum Yahweh Shai, and by the name, by by the way, the name of the heavenly Father and the Son is very important. That's how you're going to receive salvation. Okay? So, in the last days, you know, you're going to need the name of the Lord to be delivered. And a matter of fact, this scripture backs up my point. This is the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 21. And, whoso, and it shall come to pass, come to pass meaning what? In that day, that whosoever shall call on the name of of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, shall be saved, <clears throat> shall be saved, ye men of Israel. Okay? So if you're of the elect and you call on the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in, in that day, you're going to be delivered, man. Just call on the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai whenever you're in trouble and the Lord will deliver you, man. Okay? If you're of the elect, the Lord is going to deliver you, okay? He's not going to leave you hanging. Now, don't get me wrong. He is going to test your faith. You know, you might have to go three, three or four. You might have to go three or four days without eating. You know, that that's the trial of your faith right there to see because because the Lord is going to test every single one of us to see if we truly believe in him or not, because there's guys in this truth. They claim to believe in the Heavenly Father and his son right now. But then when things start getting real, when things start becoming heavy, when, when, when things start getting somber and very serious, you know, they might fold, you know? I don't know if I'm of the elect. That's why it's very, very important to be humble in this truth. Because like it tells you in the book of James, I believe it's the fourth chapter or the fifth chapter, the Lord resisteth the proud, but he giveth more grace to the humble, okay? So being humble, you know, and filled with humility, it, it, though, though, those are one, one, one of the top things that please the Heavenly Father. But, but the most top thing that pleases the Heavenly Father is having faith. Having faith and believing in Him and in His Son. But also being humble and filled with humility, those things also please the Heavenly Father and His Son a lot. we say we hope we are of the hopeful elect because we are prisoners of hope we don't know who the elect is but we know the, we know that some of the elect is going to be beheaded for this word and we know that some of the elect is going to make it to the very end until they see Yahweh coming in, in, in those chariots So it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai shall be saved, ye men of Israel. So going back,
Um, and a matter of fact, you know what? Now the spirit is on me. Now I want to get that in the, uh, let's see, what time is it? 